How to add multiple email accounts on iPhone iPad. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple email accounts on your iPhone or iPad. Whether you want to manage work and personal emails separately or keep track of multiple accounts in one place, I'll guide you through the steps. So make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get started. There are two ways to add email accounts to your iPhone or iPad, automatic and manual setup. The automatic method is the easiest and works for major email providers like Google, Yahoo, Outlook, and iCloud. With just a few taps, your account will be set up and your emails will start syncing right away. However, if you're using a lesser known email provider or have a custom email address linked to your own domain, you'll need to set it up manually using IMAP, SMTP, or POP3 settings. This requires entering your incoming and outgoing mail server details to ensure everything works correctly. To begin the process, open the Settings app on your iPhone or iPad. If you're using a well-known email provider, setting up your email is quick and easy. Start by scrolling down in the Settings app and tap on Apps in the Apps section. Scroll down. Open the Mail app option. Then tap on Accounts and choose Add Account. You'll see a list of popular email providers, including iCloud, Microsoft Exchange, Google, Yahoo, AOL, and Outlook. Select the one that matches your email service and tap Continue. Next, enter your email address and password, just as you would when logging in online. Once signed in, your email account will be added and your messages will begin syncing automatically. After signing in, you'll have the option to sync additional data like contacts, calendar and notes to your device along with your email. For example, if you use Google Calendar, all your scheduled meetings and events will automatically sync with the Calendar app on your iPhone or iPad. If you only want to use the Mail app without syncing other data, simply toggle off the options for Contacts, Calendar, and Notes. The new settings will be saved. Go back to the home screen of iPhone. Now, open the Mail app and under Mailboxes, you'll see and be able to use your newly added email account. If your email provider wasn't listed earlier, you'll need to set it up manually. This requires entering specific email settings like the hostname and username for both the incoming and outgoing mail servers. Although it might sound complicated, the process is actually quite simple. Start by opening Settings, then select Add Account, choose Other, and tap Add Mail Account. Now enter your name, email address, and password. Since I'm using Hetzner as my email service, I'll enter its name in the description field for easy identification. Next to proceed. Now, you'll need to choose between IMAP and POP as the method for accessing and receiving your emails. Here's a quick breakdown of both options. IMAP, Internet Message Access Protocol, is ideal if you want to access your emails from multiple devices such as your phone, tablet, or computer. With IMAP, your emails stay stored on the server, meaning any changes you make, like reading, deleting, or organizing emails into folders, will sync across all your devices. POP, Post Office Protocol, works differently. It downloads your emails to your device and then removes them from the server. This means once an email is downloaded, it's stored only on that specific device and you won't be able to access it from other devices. This method is useful if you prefer to keep your emails stored locally and want to free up server space. Most modern email services recommend IMAP as it provides better accessibility and synchronization across multiple devices. However, if you prefer having your email stored only on your device without syncing, POP might be a better choice. This means that if you choose POP, you'll only be able to access your emails from the specific device where they were downloaded. Once they are stored on your phone or tablet, they will no longer be available on other devices. For most users, IMAP is the better option because it allows you to check your emails from anywhere and on multiple devices. In my case, IMAP works perfectly, so I'll go with this option. Now let's move on to setting up the incoming and outgoing mail servers. To do this, you'll need to know the host name of your email service provider. This is usually provided by your email host. 
In my case, I'm using Hetzner as my email provider, so I'll enter the corresponding host name for their mail server. I'll open Safari and do a quick web search to find the necessary details. To do this, I'll type my email service provider's name, followed by the word IMAP in the search bar. Look for a relevant link, preferably from your email provider's official website, to ensure you're getting the correct information. Once you've found the right page, you'll see the server details you need for the setup. Now copy the incoming mail server address, come back to the mail settings, and paste it into the hostname field under both incoming mail server and outgoing mail server sections. For the username, enter your full email address and make sure to paste it into both the incoming and outgoing mail server fields as well. Next, type in your account password carefully, then tap Next to proceed. Once the setup is complete, your device will ask which apps you want to use with this email account. Finally, tap Save, and that's it! You've successfully added your email account, and a new mailbox will now appear in the Mail app on your iPhone or iPad. Now, you can add as many email accounts as you want and manage them all in one place, without the hassle of logging in and out each time. That's all for the video. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more step-by-step -step guides. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.